for my June month end update. Now the footage you saw at the beginning there was from a boat trip that my husband and I took at the beginning of June along the Oxford end of the River Thames and it was a typical English day regarding the weather. A little bit overcast and it had been raining earlier that day but because of that we ended up being the only two people on the boat so that was quite nice. And the rain held off throughout the boat trip and actually just started again as we pulled back up at Folly Bridge to end the trip so we were really lucky there. And I'll show you a little bit more of that footage at the end of the video as well so hang around if you'd like to see that. Okay so let's get on with the update. I thought as it's the end of June we'll do a half yearly update as well, so I'll be throwing quite a few figures at you here and I hope you won't mind, but I quite like um, looking at statistics as a way of measuring progress. So in June the channel had 275 new subscribers, taking the total to 11,880 and for the year so far, 2,667. And again, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Now, I don't usually update you on viewing figures on a monthly basis, simply because I don't want to be throwing too many figures at you all the time, but I can tell you that this year the channel has had over 230,000 views, which is fantastic. During June, I added four new videos to the channel including an episode of the Garden Shed series where I showed you how to make a simple shelf and gave you some ideas of what to put on it. I did a kit review for the vacuum cleaner and showed you how to put that together as well. I made a glazed door wall cupboard for my doll's house kitchen and I also added episode 3 to the Making Miniature Food series and I showed you how to make tea and crumpets. And this year I've added a total of 44 videos to the channel and there are now over 150 videos for you to watch. So as you know the shed is now complete and at the moment I'm working on editing the photographs and actually typesetting. I'll be releasing the book at some point in August but I don't want to commit to a date at the moment but I'll keep you updated through Facebook and Instagram on the progress of that. In June I added 5 new shades of crochet cotton, taking the total up to 56 shades. I also added some lovely new crockery items, scenic water and syringes, and these lovely little bottle blanks which you can add your own labels to. I kept a set of those for myself. I added some quilling tools, tacky glue, acrylic rulers, some wooden dots which I thought would be great for making lids for little pots and things, some wooden veneer sheets, and these wonderful little wooden shapes in nautical designs and butterflies. And I'm sure you've all seen my beach themed living room room box, which I actually did for my first ever um, magazine tutorial. And I enjoyed doing that so much. I'm thinking about having the study in my own doll's house in a sort of nautical theme. So I'll be using some of those little shapes to add to things like picture frames and the edges of mirrors and to make little ornaments and things like that. So if you like the nautical theme, do look out for that. This year, 525 of you have favourited my Etsy shop, taking the total favourites to 1,674. And the benefits of favouriting a shop is that you're the first then to know about any new products that are added. I haven't made much of a success of this goal so far this year. I have started doing some sorting out as I've mentioned in previous vlogs um, and I've been filming all of that as well but what I'm going to do is one vlog um, once I actually get around to decorating the room and rather than concentrating on sorting out I'll empty the room, do the decorating, add some really great storage units and things and then I'll just put back in everything that I want to keep and the rest will be sorted out from there. And it's just that it's one of those things that isn't really taking priority when I look at everything else that I have to do. And I think that's the way it goes, isn't it, with tidying and decorating and things. Because it's a room that I can just sort of shut the door on of an evening and forget about almost. Um, it doesn't feel like a priority if it was like the main living room or something. Um, then obviously it would feel more urgent. 
but I will get around to doing it because I know that a sort of lovely workspace is going to make a real difference to how I feel when I go in there and at the moment it's so sort of packed in there with stock and everything that I need to find um, storage units for um, that I just sort of feel that I'm getting a bit claustrophobic in there so it isn't a good working environment at the moment and as long as I've got a clear desk I can sort of get on with what I need to but I really want it to be sorted in there and just to be a really nice um, light and airy feminine room that I can really enjoy being in and I think that will make for a really nice vlog episode as well just doing the whole thing from start to finish. So I think that's it as far as the updates go but I did just want to tell you about another milestone I hit in June and that was over on Instagram where I surpassed 10,000 followers and to celebrate that I did another book giveaway and I left the giveaway open for just over a week and a lovely lady called Anne was the lucky winner and I'm not going to tell you which book I'm sending her because she asked me to surprise her but a signed copy will be on its way to her soon. During July I'll be concentrating on editing the Garden Shed book so that I can release that in August. So I might not be very active here on the channel, but I will add as much as I can. I've almost completed that sideboard buffet tutorial that I talked about in last month's vlog, so I will be uploading that at some point in July. And I'll be continuing to work on the interiors of the messy garden shed and the potting shed. So I'll be uploading those as well. And they will actually be included in the book. So that's all part of that book release goal. Now I won't be doing a monthly update at the end of July as it's our eighth wedding anniversary. And we're taking a few days off to celebrate that. But I will be back with you at the end of August and I'll update you on everything that's happened then. And hopefully I'll have a copy of the Garden Shed book to show you. So I hope you'll join me then. So that's it for now. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.